Hello Moonies and welcome to my latest video where I compare the 2015 Crystal Star Proplica to the 2020 Brilliant Color Edition. Let's get this unwrapped. So fun story while I show you the box. I originally ordered this from a uh, regular website and they kind of couldn't ship it to me because of shipping. I don't know, COVID-19, man. So I ended up getting this from Anime Osaka instead, who I've been using for many, many years. And they were the only ones who could get this out to me. So shout out to them. I'll tell you, I was pretty perturbed that I couldn't get this on time to review for you guys. Lifesavers. So you want to know what the difference is between 2015 and the 2020 version? Well, you know, you can see that this is just a box, nothing slides out and the 2015 version is a little more premium because this is an internal box that slides out i'll show you in a second lots of pictures on this new one but you'll see that on the 2015 version you have a box whoop, within a box and it's a really nice box actually i really do enjoy the print on this i would love to see that kind of print on merch this is prop like a really big this doesn't seem to market the proplica angle so much. So Bandai definitely, I don't want to say cutting costs just because they have an uglier box, but they definitely do have eh, what might be a more boring box. This has been opened previously. This is my personal toy. It's always freaky when you have to do this because you could actually pull off some of the printed parts. You don't want to do that. Of course, there's another tape here. So if you missed out on the 2015 version, you know, Count your lucky stars, because a lot of shops are about to get this in the US. But if you want it now, like I did, I just went straight to Anime Osaka and said, hey, I need a deputy to help me. Look at that. Okay, we got instructions, a little bit of foam. It's very similar to 2015. I repackaged it as best I could. So they've even changed the instruction booklet. This matches the box. This also matches this box, so okay, I get it. Moment of truth. So what does Brilliant Color Edition mean? Some users call this the orange version. I can see why it's a little orangey IRL. Just because that shine kind of just reflects any time. Wow, we. Oh my. Scooby! When you growl, it sounds like fart noises. Sorry, I had to take a moment to really take a look at this. This is really beautiful. It has a Swarovski crystal. Um, you may have seen, oh. It doesn't really catch here. It just opens, opens pretty easily. Does it have batteries? Oh, please tell me it brings batteries. Yeah, this is how you open this sucker. Aha! Uh -huh. This one comes with batteries included, thank goodness. This one did not bring batteries. You had to add them afterwards. This one, you have to pull this convenient little tab. So much easier than the 2015 Proplica. Oh, there's off and on, right. It's telling me it's on, it's on. Wow, that's bright. Hold on, we'll talk about this in a second. So, of course, the main difference is the pink coloring. This is an absolute magnet for fingerprints. So I have my Sailor Moon microfiber thing. Oh, that's better. I don't really have to do that with this one. We got shiny versus not shiny. And this one's just so funny. It just doesn't wanna, that little tooth is supposed to give you some resistance. Come on. Yeah. Hmm. Why won't you catch? So, for whatever reason, this one just opens easily. There's no real resistance. Maybe that's just mine. Let's say a couple months from now, you got this. Let me know how it opens up. Look at the iridescent colors in that crystal. So nice. 2020, 2015. Go. You know, 
these are two different pinks. You know what I'm seeing? If you look right here, I see sparkles on the 2015 version. Generally speaking, this one is more matte. Even the pink on the back is different. I didn't realize that from pictures, so now you know. These crystals look more vibrant in the same lighting. So we are comparing apples to apples. No iridescent color. This crystal's more see-through, and this one's a little more opaque because it has that beautiful iridescent color. Here's a different light. How they differ. I know Bandai's been releasing a lot of recolors. A very different experience. I feel like this is really bougie. And this one, which actually has the Swarovski crystals, is more subdued. Oof. It's creepy how that tooth doesn't seem to catch. So are the lights and sounds different? Short answer, no. But this crystal is slightly more pink than this crystal. Different lighting. Great. I want to show you one feature before I go into the lights and sounds, actually. When you open this, you push. Hey, I seem to have misplaced it. This is a cover for, no fear, steady. Oof. Usagi's yelling at me. She didn't like that I broke this apart. And then you can use that back piece to fill in that hole. Yeah, look at that. Cool, right? So you don't only have to display this with the top on. Pull hard and pull steady. Don't pull quick. And you can separate these pieces. Use this for cosplay, put this in your collection whatever. This one has that function. Um, so does the cosmic heart. You can press this button to change the mode. There's red and there's blue mode. Oh yes, English. Hallelujah. It is in English. It's telling you mode selection, legendary silver crystal button. I enjoy that. We're looking at red mode, which has a short press and a long press so you'll get the transformation music with voice in this mode and the sailor moon appearance music now in blue we're gonna just get music and transformation music without voice all right we're gonna start with a long press in the red mode long press Um, and if you notice that if this looks brighter than this, this is using older batteries. This is obviously brand new and fresh. One press. I'm convinced at this point that that's not human error, that these two are losing time somewhere along the middle, which is very interesting. Let's go to blue mode. It's blue mode and it's long press time.
right, that was kind of a hot mess. We're gonna do short, short breast blue mode. Okay, um, maybe something else. Okay, I guess that's all it does. <laughs> so is this a button? No. Hmm. All right, changing the volume. You have to hold this and press this. That's definitely lower. Ooh, that's very loud. I enjoy that. That's the old one. Let's try on the new one. Okay little lower much lower ah, I do enjoy the very loud sound the gold is a lot more yellow on the 2020 version in my left hand just saying and I feel like this has the brighter LEDs obviously we already discussed it but it has that pink color in it and I don't really see the pink color interfering and in how colorful the LEDs are. Also, the stars and moons are, I didn't realize that the differences were even inside, aside from the crystal, of course. One last time, let's listen to some wonderful Sailor Moon R music. the 2015 Proplica and the 2020 Proplica. This new one's gonna sit at a hundred bucks, just about a hundred bucks uh, for a little while. This one on the other hand, let me consult Google. Out of box, one of these sold for about 90, but in the box it sold for 150 or 200. So it looks like the price on this, or at least the value on that, has decreased substantially. I remember that was over 200 for a little while. And yeah, this uh, starts at 80 bucks. Hopefully you will get it for 80 bucks, but shipping's kind of a pain in the butt. It's a more yellow light. This is just gonna look like chrome, no matter where you put it, right? But Buddy here, you know, it's pearl, but it also reflects all the light around it. I'll turn off one of my lights here. Yeah. Ooh, baby. But in regards to this Proplica, this Proplica is not the one that does the most. They got a lot more advanced over time. Pop this back in. If it's been a week and this video has been uploaded, um, maybe tweet me. Tweet me to remind me I have to find that little plastic piece. For the hinge and that's the crystal star proplica comparison video let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments i have a couple videos planned out i did that dub comparison video pretty recently looks like you guys really liked it so i'm definitely doing part two i hope it'll be fun idk i really enjoy talking about the english dubs because there's so much to talk about another video that i'm going to preview right now is <laughs> look at this i bought a custom deck of sailor moon magic the gathering cards obviously these are unlicensed these are made by a fan um really cool interesting um usable deck uh from what i can tell i'll be opening that up in a new video and if you don't know what magic the gathering is maybe you know what the sailor moon trading card game is it is a trip. I got a couple cards here to show you. And I will teach you, my Mooney friends, a new skill. We're in the, we're still in lockdown where I'm at. And it's good to learn new things. So come on down and learn Magic the Gathering with me. 
whenever that video goes up. No estimated date because I love to hear from you guys and let me know which video you are more excited to see. Is it the Sailor Moon dub comparison part two or Magic the Gathering? I also have a very big, this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work just to put this back in the box. I also got a really big anime haul, Sailor Moon haul from Anime Osaka. <sighs> Do you guys struggle as much putting all your stuff back in the boxes? I swear. That's not even how that goes. I want to go skateboarding on my Sailor Moon skateboard. Yeah, that's another thing. That's another video I have to make. Oh, this doesn't fit. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. Do as I say, not as I do. Because clearly I don't know how to put this in the box. Thanks for watching. I'm Sarah Tortilla. I put a lot of content on Instagram. So you can always DM me too. Oh yes, success. These are two different, but very similar replicas. Also, let me know which box you like better. They are, I mean, really so completely different, really different experience. This definitely feels more luxury than this. Why am I adding more content to the end of the video when everybody probably already clicked away? Bye. By the way, if you collect Sailor Moon toys, half of your time is just spent rubbing off plastic and residue.